Let's start with chapter six in Second Clement. The present and future worlds are enemies to each other. Now the Lord declares, quote, no servant can serve two masters, unquote. If we desire then to serve both God and mammon, it will be unprofitable for us. For what will it profit if a man gain the whole world and lose his own soul, unquote. This world and the next are two enemies. This reminds me, by the way, this reminds me of the, uh, the scripture that says, uh, if you are friends with the world, you are enemies of God. I mean, that's a very, very serious thing to think about. But hey, that's what it says in the book of James. Um, a lot of, I know a lot of Christians and a lot of pastors, church leaders, it's like they're, tr it's like they're trying to be friends of the world. And that's really not what we're called to do. You know, we're called to be holy. We're called to be set apart. We're called to be separated. Remember, it says you are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a peculiar people. I'll never forget. I'll never forget. Uh, I was on the street preaching, um, uh, actually just on the street with a, with a, with a friend of mine he, in, in just sharing the gospel. And he was preaching and he ran across this one, this, this one um, young, I believe it was a young lady. And uh, this lady was dressed just like the world. I mean, just like the world, like, uh, I mean, she might've been like in, in her late teens. Like if you can imagine just a worldly late teen girl, uh, everything, uh, the hairdo, the hair, all that kind of stuff, the way she dressed. And she said to my friend, she said, I'm a Christian. I am, she said, I love Jesus. I am a Christian. And I never forget how he responded to her. He said, you know, it says in the scriptures, it, you know, if you're a Christian, you are supposed to be a peculiar people. You don't look peculiar. You look just like the rest of them. I'll never forget that. I'll never forget that. I don't know if she remembers that, but I hope she does. Very good word. This world and the next are two enemies. The one urges to adultery and corruption, avarice and deceit. The other bids farewell to these things. We cannot, therefore, be the friends of both. And it behooves us by renouncing the one to make sure of the other. Okay. Again, let's, let's just take a little bit of time here because there's so much meat here, so much gold. I mean, we're just, let's just sift for spiritual gold here, okay? The way Clement puts this, it's like we cannot be friends of both. It's impossible. It's a dichotomy. And it behooves us by renouncing the one to make sure of the other. In other words, if we do not renounce the one world, we cannot make sure of the other. Let us reckon that it is better to hate the things present, since they are trifling and transient and incorruptible, and to love those which are to come as being good and incorruptible.